This week on TGC News, ZevTech mind melds with SIG, Smith & Wesson has two new pistols, and an award for influencers that you guys control. Neomag offers so much more than a slick solution for discreetly carrying mags, with products like the RASC, which means Revolver Ammunition Strip Concealment, so folks that carry wheel guns don't have to have the bulk of a regular speed loader in their pocket. There's also the Sentry Strap, which allows you to cleanly stage your rifle sling using a slick magnetic solution. And now they've expanded the Neomag line. Not only do you have the single magnet originals, but now you have the dual magnet Type G made for Glock mags or holding other mags more securely. And you can still choose from black or silver, extended and standard size pocket clips. If you want to be the gray man, this is your brand. To get 10% off your entire order, use our code TGC2020 at theneomag.com. Welcome back to another episode of TGC News, the only gun news show that covers things you actually care about. My name is John Patton. Before we get into things today, I want to bring you guys up to date on the Barrett thing that I announced last week. If you guys click the secret affiliate link in the description of this video, 50,000 times before Christmas, that's December 25th, 2020, I'm giving away a Barrett 50 BMG. As of today, you have 11 days left, and as of the filming of this video, we are just over halfway there. Get to it. Let's kick things off this week with some new pistols, shall we? First is the Z365 from Zevtech and SIG. Essentially, this is a six-hour P365 that has been dipped in Zevtech cladding. The main changes are the Zevtech Octane Slide with an optic cut, the Zevtech Pro Barrel, Zev's own fiber optic sights, and a Zev laser engraved sort of stippling job. Other than that, it's got a standard trigger that it comes with and comes along with two 10 round mags. The price for all that, $11.99. Considering the regular 365 goes for about 500 bucks, that means you're paying about 700 for the upgrades. Now, if you went straight to Zev, the slide and barrel alone are over 600. So it's not that crazy of a bump. And I suspect this type of thing is for a very specific customer anyway. I gotta be honest, I kind of want one. I'm a little bougie sometimes. Also in new pistol news, Smith & Wesson has two new ones from their M&P 15 lineup. First up, the M&P 1522 pistol, which is sort of a revamp of their old braceless version. It comes in 22 long rifle, of course. It also has an eight inch barrel, 25 round mags, M-lock handguard, and out back is the SBA3 brace. Shout out to the ATF on that one. Ha <laughs> ha. Really, it's a great compact package for the MSRP of 504 bucks. I kind of want one. They also have a new 556 pistol with a seven and a half inch barrel, M-lock handguard, blast diverter, muzzle device, SBA3 brace, a flat face trigger, which is rad. And the most interesting thing is that it comes with what is essentially a standard M&P pistol grip. It even has the interchangeable back straps, like their handgun grip on an AR style pistol. It's strange, but I kind of love it. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. MSRP on that is 896. I'm curious to know what you guys think here. Is that Z365 something you would grab? And which of the M&P 15 pistols would you prefer with ammo being as silly as it is? Do you want to hold out for the 5.56 or would you rather pop rounds off with the 22 version? Sound off in the comments and let's talk about it. I also want to tell you guys this week about something a little bit different. It's called the Gundy Awards, and the basics are pretty simple. There are 15 different categories in which you can vote for your favorite influencers or creators. According to them, the Gundy's folks, this is about coming together to strengthen our community no matter who your favorite influencer is. I'll run you guys through the categories and then explain my thoughts on the whole thing. You have Breakout Creator of the Year, Influencer of the Year, Most Influential Female and Male, those are two separates, and YouTuber of the Year. All of those fall under the Influence categories. Then under the Content Creation categories, you have Best Crossover Creator, whatever that is to you, Best Gun Reviewer, Most Creative Content of the Year, and most entertaining content of the year. After that, the fun categories include best outdoorsman, best gun range or shop, best shooter, influencer turned entrepreneur, 
most innovative brand of the year, and most likely to survive the apocalypse. I bet when I'm reading these, I bet you're already thinking who you want to vote for in each one of those. As, like I'm saying, it, I guarantee stuff's popping into your head. We, TGC, are actually up for two categories this year. Influencer of the year and YouTuber of the year. However, I really want you guys to go vote for my fiance Genevieve. You've seen her in videos. Because she is actually up for two herself. Most influential female and most entertaining content of the year. If you've seen her Instagram reels, you'll know just how good she is. I would really appreciate it if you guys would go vote for her specifically. Now, the way voting works is actually pretty cool. You can vote once a day until December 31st. Each vote is actually an entry to win a specific prize for each individual category. So, for instance, Influence of the Year has its own prize that you can win, and Best Outdoorsman has its own prize, and blah, 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 blah. They all have prizes. So it's fun for you guys to pick who you like the best and maybe win something. And it's also really fun for us creators to see who makes it to the top. I'll be sure to put a link to their website down below so you guys can go check it out. All in all, I think this is a really fun thing for all of us to come together and have fun with. We have a couple more things this week that I want to share with you guys. Rock Island Auction recently sold one of the most interesting firearms to ever cross their bench. It was Teddy Roosevelt's Single Action Army Colt Revolver with Factory Deluxe engraving. How much did it sell for? A whopping $1.4 million. An absolutely astonishing amount of money. If you ask me, this is something that would be a once-in-a-lifetime thing to own, and I think it's really cool just to be able to see it and watch what happens. There's actually a video of the whole sale on their YouTube channel if you want to go see that sort of excitement. My question to you guys, if you owned this thing, would you shoot it? I would. I would absolutely go shoot that thing. And rounding us out is a tool that aims to take the load off your fingers when loading mags. It's called the Bullet Blaster, and it's pretty simple. It's a 3D printed piece that you slide a finger or thumb into, and using the protrusion on the bottom to hold down the rounds, you hold them into the mag whilst loading. For the price of $12.99 a piece, it doesn't really seem like a bad option if it works. However, in their own promo video, you can see the thing like hanging up as they're trying to pop it out of the mag. It's like dragging. It gets caught a bit while they're loading. Sure, it might save your fingers, but if it annoys you in the process, it's probably not worth it. Not only that, but this is not the only product like this ever made. I've actually seen one that's basically a thumb ring or finger ring. I don't know, whatever with a very similar core concept. It's got a little nub sticking off of it. I'll let you guys tell me in the comments what you think of products like that. Vertex makes some of the best EDC bags and gear around. Whether you're looking for a backpack, a messenger bag, or maybe something for your pup. They've got features like a rapid access weapon compartment, padded backing, a hot pull tab for quick access to the main compartment, and much much more. Oh, and did I mention their jeans make my legs look better? <laughs> Seriously, I can do so many high kicks in these. And guys, if you want to get a huge discount, head over to Vertex, that's V-E-R-T-X dot com, and use our code TGC to get a whopping 25% off everything. Go do it. GunTuber of the Week continues this week. If you don't know, GunTuber of the Week is a segment where I share a gun-related channel that by our standards, which are admittedly really high, puts out high-quality, entertaining, informative content on a regular basis. That last part is very key. That being said, our GunTuber of the Week this time is 715 Tactical, or 715 Tactical. Austin's channel is young, but very well put together. The B-roll he captures is some of my favorite and reminds me of channels with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. This guy is on par with some of the top guys out there. The presentations are straightforward and just good. Here's a clip. Welcome back to the channel. And what we call number three or ordinary everyday consciousness. This frame should look a little bit familiar if you follow the Build Your Dream series. Or any length of time you want to have.
If you guys are into that type of content, and I'm pretty sure you will be, go find the link to his channel in the description and get subscribed. And be sure to tell him that TGC sent you. Now, that is it for this week's video, guys. After you click the like button, be sure to hit the secret affiliate link down in the description. That would be a massive help for us. And of course, don't forget to get subscribed for more gun news every single week. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. Yep, it's over, but don't worry. You can click on the video up top to watch last week's show. And the one below that is the one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Check them out and let me know what you think.